Hey everyone, it's Mike Simmons of WPHowTos.com and today I'm making a quick video about installing WordPress with Fantastico Deluxe. Now I use HostGator Hosting and for you, those of you that do have HostGator Hosting there are actually a couple options for installing WordPress the easy way you know, versus uh, installing it manually. One is called Quick Install and one is called Fantastico Deluxe. I use Quick Install nowadays, but I used to use Fantastico, and it does just fine. Uh, other people might have not have uh, two options and might have Fantastico as their main option. So, making this video for uh, those of you that uh, can't use Quick Install. So, what you want to do is uh, log into your cPanel, first of all. And, of course, that's just your domain name, uh, forward slash cPanel. And then, once you get logged in, you'll want to scroll down most cPanels are pretty similar looking so most likely it'll look pretty much the same so scroll down until you find software services and then look for the blue smiley face uh, click on that it's called Fantastico Deluxe and then we'll just uh, over on the left here you just click on WordPress okay it'll give you a little bit of a bunch of information here there's the WordPress support forum and current installations which I don't have any apparently I'm going to click on new install. Actually, I do have an installation. It does. A, I used quick install, so it doesn't show up in the Fantastico uh, C -pan, uh, thing here. So I'm going to click on new installation. Just a note here. You see, it says 3.3.1. That's the version of WordPress it's going to install. And as of this video, the the WordPress is up to version 3.5.1. So it's a couple uh, things behind but you know that's easily remedied all you have to do is just update WordPress as soon as you get it installed on your uh, WP admin back in there so anyway just click on new installation now I am going to install it in a special subdomain that I made up for this video called fantastico.mikeswordpresstips.com you'll probably just install it in your main uh, main domain and unless you know what you're doing I wouldn't don't install it in a directory here so just find your main domain there and uh, then just have that selected and then you then you'll want to uh, choose an administrator username just choose anything besides um, admin so I'm just going to choose uh, Mike and then I'll just choose a password and your admin nickname which is a uh, you can you can fool with that once you get everything installed but uh, I'm just going to put uh, an email in here Choose that one, and then your site name. I'm just going to put Fantastico, if I spelled it right. There we go, and you can put a description in there if you'd like. Um, the main thing is just don't have admin as your admin username. It's just not a good practice for security reasons. So anyway, we'll just click Install WordPress. It's just a couple quick steps. Now, it, it'll just give you some information here. I'm not sure why the access URL, there's the URL that you're going to install it on. Then just click Finish Installation. Okay. I, I actually paused the video for a few seconds there. It took about 20, 30 seconds, but, you know, that's nothing as, as opposed to installing WordPress manually. Okay, so it'll give you some information here. Here's your username, password, which I'm going to black out, and then... Uh, the URL to your uh, WP admin backend, and I'm, I'm just going to click on that. Actually, here's another step you can do too. You can email your details of this installation, which will have your username and password, etc., on there. And that's a good idea if you'd like to keep track of it. So I'm just going to click on this just to see what we got here. Now you'll just want to log in with your username and password. Okay, looks like it uh, did it, did a good job of installing. Like I said, uh, right up here on the, the toolbar, you can see the updates, and uh, it, you can just update WordPress right away as soon as you get here. So you just click Update now, and you'll upload. 
update to the newest version of WordPress. So Fantastico is usually a version or so behind, so that's not really a big deal. So I'm just going to check out how the site looks here. There's Fantastico with the default uh, 2011 theme. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope it helped you. And please uh, subscribe, like, and favorite. And as always, keep on keeping on.